Hello everybody, welcome back. It's me, Shantae. I feel like I'm just gonna do this every time I film a video. So it's me, Shantae. <laughs> um, today I felt like filming something a little bit more impromptu. So um, I've got my notebook and my pen. And I wanna talk about how we can get ourselves out of a bad mood because the last couple days i was in a bad mood and it's normal we're human we're gonna be in a funky ass mood sometimes <laughs> did i really say funky ass mood yes yes because that's how it feels and is it really possible to feel good all the time probably not because we're human we're not robots so we're not going to feel good every single moment of our lives but we can feel good most of the time yes i really believe that we can feel good most of the time like almost all the time so if we're in a bad mood what can we do to get out of a bad mood okay so first of all if you're in a bad mood the first thing you you need to do is accept that you're in a bad mood okay you're in a bad mood that's fine you're in a bad mood accept it don't try and ignore it don't try and resist it because it's just gonna continue so accept it okay i'm in a bad mood now that's the first step accepting Number two, take responsibility. Your bad mood is probably something you can change. You have to take responsibility for your bad mood. We can't really blame it on anyone else and we can't really expect anyone else to fix it for us. So yeah, accept it, take responsibility for it. And then, a thing that I like to use, this is a tool that I like to use a lot, you've probably heard me mention it somewhere, but journaling, like journaling is such a big thing, especially if you don't have someone you can vent to about your bad mood, journal about it, your notebook is always there to listen to you, journal, write everything you feel, there's no judgement on the, on the piece of paper, just write it all out, if you know why you're in a bad mood, write it out. If you don't know why you're in a bad mood, write some suggestions. It could be this, it could be that. I felt triggered when this happened. I felt triggered when that happened and blah, 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 blah. So journal it. Let it out. Let it out. <laughs> That's number three, I think. The next one is have some daily non-negotiables. What's a non-negotiable? A non-negotiable is like the things that you commit to doing every single day, no matter what. So that could be meditating, it could be praying, it could be exercising, it could be taking a walk outside, it could be yoga, it could be anything, okay? So I'm going to share my non-negotiables with you to give you some ideas. I've got them here on my phone. I'm just going to read them out. Non-negotiables, okay? Personal statement. So I read out my personal statement every morning. It's like my, my life intention. I read it out every morning to remind myself why I'm here, what I'm here to do. So if you want, I'll do a video on that. Um, number two is priming. I use this Tony Robbins video. I will link it down below. I prime every single morning. Meditate, 10 minutes at least. So yeah, I'll prime and then I will meditate for 10 minutes at least. Like 10 minutes is something I can commit to every single day, no matter what. Then I will pray morning and night. Shower, obviously. I mean, 
if that's not on your list then no judgment but <laughs> exercise at least 10 minutes and that could be any kind of exercise brush teeth two times skincare routine two times so those are my non-negotiables which means no matter how much of a bad mood i am in i will at least do those things and when you've done those things you feel like okay at least i am making progress and i am keeping my commitment to myself if that makes sense is that number four accept take responsibility journal non-negotiables yeah that's number four and uh, number five is the final one is break the pattern yes break the pattern what does that mean i heard this fact and it was really interesting so an emotion only lasts for 90 seconds Some, some, sometimes that's really hard to believe that an emotion lasts for 90 seconds but if it lasts longer than 90 seconds it's usually because we are feeding it with our energy and the way we can stop feeding it our energy is to break the pattern so break the pattern means doing something you wouldn't usually do. Um, you can lie in bed all day. You can do that. You probably want to do that. You probably feel like you want to do that. But doing something you wouldn't usually do helps to kind of break that feeling up. So let me give you an example. When I was in a bad mood, I thought, okay, I've got to take responsibility for my bad mood and I have to do what I can to make myself feel better and I can't expect someone else to make me feel better. So I ran a bath, I lit some candles, put some incense, burned some incense, some sage and I did my new moon ritual in the bath. I've never done it in the bath but it was it was a vibe and I don't often take baths like yeah it's a rare thing so doing something that I don't usually do helps me feel so much better and it brought me back to the present moment and usually when we're in a bad mood we're not in the present moment we're elsewhere so it's really nice to do something that breaks the pattern there's so many ways you can break the pattern. You can put on some music, dance, dance however you want to. Um, I don't know, go for a walk somewhere you've never been. So many ways, just do something that's out of the ordinary for you. And bring yourself back to the present moment because in the present moment is where the peace and the joy lives yeah that's it for today thank you so much this is the first time i filmed a video and uploaded it the same day i am not even going to edit it barely so have a wonderful life have a wonderful wednesday have a wonderful life um stay blessed if you haven't already you can check out the big goddess energy guide here and if you don't want the guide and you still want to sign up to my newsletter you can click the link that says join my inner circle because i'm going to be sending emails once a month for now and it's just going to have information tips tricks books anything that has helped me over the month to remain in a uplifted state of being so yeah take care i love you stay blessed bye keep going keep going this is your sign to keep going get your tunnel vision on and let's go